All right then, so we've got our pop-up working. We've got it hooked up to Firebase as well to add the data to our Firestore database. What I'd like to do now is just one little extra thing, kind of like sprinkling the sugar on top, and that is some kind of little user notification to say that, hey, your project has been added. Instead of just closing this thing like this when we've added the project, maybe some kind of message on the screen to say, hey, your project has been added successfully. So to do that, we are going to be using something called a snack bar in Beautify. And it looks something like this. If I click this button, you're going to see this little message at the top. That's what I want to do for our web app. I want to show this at the top when a user has added a new project. So then where are we going to put this in? What component should we do it? Well, I think it makes sense to put it in the navbar component. It's going to need to communicate with our pop-up at some point because that's where we add the data and that's where we know when the data has been added. So we're going to need that. But I don't want to put it in the pop-up because if I do, it's going to appear in the pop-up or maybe in here where the button is. I don't want that. I want to put it up here at the top. So I'm going to put it in the navbar where the toolbar is instead or just above the toolbar. So then let us do that at the top of the navbar component. Come above the toolbar. All right. Then we need a component to do this snack bar. It's just called V hyphen snack bar like so. And then inside this, we're going to create the content. Now, first of all, I'll do a span tag and I'll just say awesome. And then after that, you added a new project. Cool. And then below that span tag, I'm also going to do a button. And this is going to be the close button to close the notification. So I'll say V hyphen BTN. And this is going to be a flat button. So it's transparent and also it takes away the drop shadow and we'll give this a color prop equal to white so the text is white then inside we'll say close all right so by default this is not going to show and i can demonstrate that if i save this we don't see anything on the page right but it's driven by v model and this expects some kind of data which is a boolean either true or false so I'm going to set this to be equal to a property called snack bar, which I'm then going to go and define down here underneath links. So snack bar like so. And what I'll do is set this to true to begin with. So if I save this, now we can see it down here, right? Now the close doesn't do anything at the minute and it doesn't go away. So, well, it did go away, but it took a while to do. So let's kind of override that behavior. So first of all, I'm going to set a property over here called timeout and this timeout is how long should this stay up when it appears. Now I want this to be about four seconds. I'm going to data bind here because I'm going to pass through an integer. So colon before it, then 4000 for milliseconds. All right. So that's that. Now we saw it appear at the bottom, but I want it to appear at the top of the screen instead. So let's place the top prop. We can do that to position it. And also the color, I didn't like the color. I'm going to color this in success which is that kind of greeny color so let's save this again and if i refresh over here then we're going to see that at the top instead all right so again if we close it well that was automatic but if i click close it doesn't do anything at the minute so what we need to do when we click close is to change snack bar to be false that makes sense right because it's driven by the snack bar on v model so then let us attach a click event to this by saying at click and set that equal to snack bar equals false. So all we're doing is overriding the default value of snack bar, which is at the minute true. And we're setting that equal to false instead. All right. When we click that button. So then it should hide the snack bar. So if I refresh again over here, click close, then it's going to hide it. Awesome. Now then, this is fine, but we don't want it to show by default when we first load the page that's bonkers so instead what we'd like to do is only show this after we've completed a project and it's done right so we need some way to communicate that from the pop-up component when this is complete to the navbar component because that's where the snack bar is so we can do that by emitting an event once this project has been added to firestore and it returns that um, response to us we fire that callback function Right there, we can emit an event from the pop-up component to the navbar component. We can listen for that event in the navbar component. When it occurs, we can set the snack bar data down here to be equal to true, and then it's going to show it. So by default, it should be false. So it doesn't show automatically. So if I refresh now, it's not going to show. 
So now we want to emit that event when this thing is complete. So this is where we had the project. This fires when it's done. So right here we can emit the event. So to do that, dead simple, all we need to say is this dot emit with a dollar sign before it. This is just normal Vue.js. We can emit events in Vue.js. And if you do need a refresher, feel free to check out my Vue.js course right here on YouTube. And the event we're going to emit is going to be called mm, project added. You can call this what you want. Okay, so now when this is complete, we're emitting that event. We need to listen to this event occurring in the nav bar, right? So where is that? Where did we nest it? It's somewhere around here, pop up. Okay, so now, just like we can listen to a click event on elements, we can listen to that custom event that we just emitted. So this event was called project added. That's what we called it, right? So we say at project added is equal to something. And then this is going to do something when this event is listened to, when it's fired or emitted from the pop up. So what do we want to do at this point? Well, all we want to do is set the snack bar down here, this thing to be true, because then if it's true, it's going to show it. So we can say snack bar is equal to true. Simple, right? So let's save that and see if this all works. So let's go and add a new project. Um, testing one, two, three, really cool project titles. <laughs> um, blah, blah, blah. And then a due date is going to be 30th. Add the project. Cross your fingers and there we go. We have our snack bar at the top now. We can close it and everything works fine. So that's pretty much complete. The only thing really we need to do now is set up our application so it listens to the database and retrieves the actual documents we have instead of this dummy data we create on the front end. So we're going to look at Firestore real-time listeners in the very next tutorial.